I want to show you guys today is the Fresh Life Automatic Sprouter for growing fresh sprouts right in your kitchen. And it's electric, so you plug it in and it has a little sprinkler system that keeps your sprouts moist. And what I've done is I put some mung beans on the right, some fenugreek in the middle, and a sprouting mix with alfalfa, clover, and radish over on the end and just soaked them overnight. They're all about six to eight tablespoons in each jar. And soak them in some purified water overnight. So you can sprout all sorts of kinds of seeds and everything I have here is organic. And this is what the um, company sent us from the Sprout Man. We have organic daikon radish seeds, the organic salad mix, and there's the sunflower, which are the big black ones. The mung bean, organic Chinese mung bean. Indian fenugreek. And organic sprouting seeds, which is an organic crunchy bean mix with lentils, green peas, and garbanzo beans. We've got them all in the cupboard. So here's one all set up and I'll show you the different pieces right now. We do have six of them because the company wanted us to experiment, but I'll just go over this one that I'm focused on right here. Again, this is the Fresh Life Automatic Sprouter Model 2000. It has a top and I already put sprinkler and when I turn this on it'll turn out automatically but I'll show you that in a minute and each one comes with an additional spare sprinkler and then you can just pull that off it's pretty easy comes out like that piece comes out and you have a top sprouting tray looks like this and a bottom sprouting tray and that's where you put the seeds and once you take that out you've just got your sprouting barrel looks like that on the bottom here is the reservoir where you add all the water and there's a mark on the side that'll show you exactly how high to make the water level and then this is the base with the motor right there so to reassemble going to take the sprouting barrel, place it on top, real simple, real easy, and I've got my first sprouting tray, and I'll put that down there, and this is when you need to go get your seeds, so let me grab those. So I'm going to take a little strainer right here that I can just put on the side of the sink, and I think we'll do the mung beans next. Our water is hooked to a whole house filter system, so I can just use the water right from the top, but normally you'd want to get purified water if your whole house system is not filtered. Shake them off a little bit and bring them over to the sprouter. So now what we want to do is not just dump them because you don't want them to get all stuck in the cracks there, and you also don't want them to clog this part up. So I kind of just take them a little pinchful at a time and get them all evenly spread over the sprouter. Be really careful. Again, you don't want them to get stuck all over. You just want an even layer over your tray. And the tray is divided into quarters. It's about the same thickness or about the same amount of seeds per quarter. And that looks about good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. Then you take the second sprouting tray, smooth side up, so that's this way, and you put it over the seeds because the seeds actually want to stay in the dark for the first couple days of their life before they start sprouting. Once that's done, just go ahead and put the little sprinkler system on top. Finally, grab the cap, put those on, 
and there we go. Now we just plug them in. And I have all six plugged in over here, so I'm just going to turn the power switch on. Oh, that one doesn't have a cap. So I'll take this open so you can see. See how it's twirling and watering at the same time? And I've got them all going at the same time right now. And they actually alternate in speeds as they go, so here, this guy needs a sprinkler, I have radish seeds in this one, there we go, might want to smooth those out a bit more. Okay, so here's our sprouting bean mix with lentils and garbanzo beans. We're going to top them to make a sprout sandwich, just like that. Give them a sprinkler and put the cap on. In the next one over here, I put the sunflower seeds. So they're going to make the big green sprouts that are common at the Hippocrates and the Ann Wigmore Institutes for healing. So sandwich them again. So these are my favorite, the fenugreek. And again, we're just going to tap them in there. Twirl our tray around. And the rest go in there. Okay, so there's the fenugreek. There's its top, so it's a sprouting sandwich. Sprinkler. And... And last but not least, rinse our salad sprouting mix. Put them in here and I'll smooth them out and we'll come back and show you. Okay, so here's the last guy. And then I'm going to turn all these on so you can see how cool this looks take the lids off momentarily. Some are green, some are blue. I don't know how they decide which one to send you, but here we go. You'll get with the purchase of Fresh Life Instruction Booklet, it has everything you need to know about how to do it. I just dunked mine in water. Um, the popular sprouting seeds and how many tablespoons of each seed to use and how many days of growth they need before they're ready to harvest. And then different questions and different ideas for sprouts and a wonderful warranty. So that's to look forward to. Now let's press the on switch and here they go. And they are actually designed so they don't spray the water out. Um, you can actually watch them watering the sprouts as they go. And after these guys have been germinating for a couple days and they start to have little shoots on them, we'll take the top tray off so they're not in the dark anymore. And then you can really watch the sprouts grow under their sprinkler system. So that's six guys going with all different kinds of sprouts. So you can see it. And I'll be back to show you what they look like. Um, I'll probably do a little update every single day to show you the process of sprouting in the Fresh Life Automatic Sprouters.